So what you've been watching me do uh, in the previous video where I did my Q&A, as well as probably what's gonna be in the rest of this video, is attaching this front to the top part of the wing or the back part of the wing. Um, and honestly, this is a two person process because no matter how hard you try, you're just not gonna be able to get your hand uh, on this side and on that side of the wing. So you're going, uh, going to need another person. Or are you? So I've been cheating. So what I've been doing, instead of like trying to wrangle a friend or get my wife to come out and help me uh, because they have lives and time and because I'm really stubborn and want to try to do this stuff all by myself, is I've been using one of these footer bars and a springy clamp to act as a second person. Um, you can see here in this video that what I'm doing is I'm placing this footer bar up against the back side or the back part of the rivet there and using this spring clamp uh, in between that flange that is in the main spar and the foot trying to keep it in line with the rivet so that it applies just the right amount of pressure uh, in order to you know, give the, the response and the good set on the rivet that I really want or need. Is that cheating? Maybe, but so far the results seem good. I mean, I've, I've gone through and I've been testing each of the rivets after I set it, and the shop head seems really good. The, the manufactured side looks flush, it looks fa fantastic, and hell, it works. Now, it does take a lot longer. I mean, you've probably seen me in the videos as I speed it up, me going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between the various sides, but eh, you know, it's something that I can do, uh, get it done by myself, and I don't need to bother other people. I've already told my wife that there's definitely some areas where I'm going to need her to come out and rivet. And you've seen her come out and rivet before, especially on the empennage. But uh, this is one where I figured I could do it with, without her help and, uh, you know, just take a little more time. In this case, I'm trading a little bit of time for her not to have to come out here, which I'm sure she appreciates. So that's what's going on here. And you can see here the final results are actually just fine. Um, this one, there's actually three uh, rivets right over here behind this bracket. I'm gonna need help or I'm gonna have to figure out another method just because the bracket's getting in the way. So there you go, that's one way to do it. Uh, you know, does it beat having another body right there to help you do the actual work? No, no, having another body would be nice but there are times when you can't. Um, you know, I had originally started this project because I wanted to do as much of it by myself without any other help at all, so much so that I've foregone quick build and, and uh, even foregone some of my friends coming over offering to help because I wanted to drive every rivet. That's unrealistic. Uh, there are times when you're going to need somebody else to help you, but there are little things you can do to do some things yourself when you need to. Now, of course, having that really strong flange there on the main spar certainly helped a lot. There are gonna be rivets where you just don't have another way uh, to, to do that. Um, then you might have to look at back riveting or some other technique or trick to make it happen or get your wife to come out and help you. Okay, so uh, time for another question from a user. You guys are filling up my question queue. I appreciate it. Please keep asking them. Uh, in the days preceding your first kid arrival, what were the things that you were doing to set up? What were the key things that you ensured that you had prior to its arrival that you definitely needed to have to commence? <sighs> Workspace. That's probably the big one. Um, if you reckon back to all those days ago, a couple of years ago, that big ass box of stuff, right? I mean, there's a ton of just unloading and then putting apart somewhere and then trying to figure out how to categorize or catalog or organize all that information. And a one car garage, I mean, can you do it? Yeah, but whoo, man, it would be much easier if you at least had a two car or a hanger. Um, organization, I think, is, is one of the big ones that I think I was lacking even to this day. Um, there, there is something to be said for being able to go, I need part you know, W1011 and walk right over and pick it up, right? Because I can't tell you the number of times where I've been like, I need that part. And I'm like, well, I don't even know what that part is. Where the hell would that even be? And now I'm, I'm pulling out the sheet to look at it and try to figure out what it is. 
like, you know, what shape is it? It belongs, okay, it's W, so it belongs to the wing, so it's one zero, that might mean it's a skin, so, uh, and by the way, there's no rhyme or reason. I think W does typically mean wing, E usually means empennage, but, and F is fuselage, but other than that, I'm not sure that there's any logic to it, or if there is, I don't know what it is, someone tell me. Um, so there's been times like that when just finding stuff was difficult. Uh, same thing with like rivets or, or you know, pop rivets. I, I had a number of screws and nuts and rivets and things like that, that or even um, one of the bar stocks I seems, seem to remember. You know, it, in the kit it says it'll be, and I'm gonna make something up, you know, W123, but then somewhere in all the documentation it says W123 has been replaced by E456. And you need to know that. And, and I, I've like hunted for this W123 forever, never finding it, only to find out later, oh, it was replaced by E123 and here's that, you know, or whatever. So again, organization, take the time. Take the time to go through and every single part catalog, not only its number or you know, designation, but what it is, and then put like-minded parts in a similar area. Oh, all my skins are over here. All my rivets are over here. You know, rivets are boxed by a certain size. I, I took all my rivets out of the bags they came in and put them each in their own little container because, ugh, so many. Um, same thing with everything else. You're gonna get bags of 47 parts in there and there might be 10 different types of parts in that one bag just scattered together. Um, and so count every part. I know that's, that's tedious as hell and you're like, really, every part? Yeah, every part. Check it off the list. Make sure you have every part organized, cataloged, and grouped in such a way that you'll be able to easily find it down the road when you need it. And I mean months down the road, not in 10 minutes or in a couple hours, because you'll remember in 10 minutes or a couple hours, but in months, you're not going to remember. So that I think is, that's a big one. Space and organization are the two things I don't think I spend enough time accounting for and planning for. Hope that answers your question. Okay, there you go. Well, I hope that answers that question. I have a whole bunch more questions from you guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to do at least one question per video. So if you guys have anything that's just a burning desire that you really wanna know, just feel free to comment below. I'm, I'm writing a list of them and I'm trying to group them and get to them. So, yay. Um, there we go. Uh, the, the front part of the wing is done now on the right wing. And uh, so now I have to move on to the next section, which is working on the fuel tank. Uh, the fuel tank. Ugh. I need to order more of the stinky goop. Uh, the horrible horribleness. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it, to be honest, because then once I get that done, I will have both wings up to the same point. Yeah. Again, to reiterate, if you get a chance when you build your own, if you don't go quick build, uh, I would recommend going quick build, but if you don't go quick build, do both wings at the same time, because damn. So anyways, that's it, guys. I'm going to cut this one here. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Your continued questions keeps me interested. It's why I keep coming out here and doing this. All of your feedback, by the way, what everyone has asked me to do, I've heard you, uh, and I am going to uh, go ahead and, and, and try to implement some of those things. One other thing is, I know some of you have used my uh, builder ID number, which is down below, uh, to uh, buy your kit from Vans, and uh, so I've got five or so people, maybe six, uh, I don't know, I have to count, uh, that have, uh, you know, I've gotten $100 basically from Vans for recommending them. If you guys want to support me, by the way, please use my builder number when you buy your kit because they send me 100 bucks. It doesn't come out of your pocket at all. Uh, but do you guys want me to say who you are? Like, should I go so-and-so or something like that? I don't know if I should, uh, if, that, if that, like, should that be, you know, kept on the down low or if that's one of those things that uh, I should celebrate you. I, I'm not sure. I don't want to do, I don't want to offend anyone, I guess. So please comment below if you think, you know, especially those of you that have uh, used used your or my builder ID on your kit. Uh, if you would comment below as to whether or not you want me to to thank you uh, publicly, I, I thank you anyways. But if you want me to thank you on on film or on camera, I absolutely will do that. Other than that, guys, like I said, going to cut it here. If you uh, like what I'm doing on this channel, if you click the like button down there, it actually helped my rankings. And if you haven't yet, if you go ahead and click that subscribe button, that really helps because uh, well. Every time, every single person that subscribes or likes, it actually bumps me up a little more in the channel and maybe I'll get a couple more viewers and hey, maybe we'll keep Vans in business for a long time, right? Huh? Thanks everybody.